Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum, the flipping. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. We also do have the Black Friday sale on the premium list. If you wanna know how I'm navigating these markets, check that out, you can find a link to that in the description below as well. We'll have that run through the end of the month. Now, the flippening is, is certainly a topic within the cryptocurrency asset class that it's hard to have a discussion on it without, without sort of coming at it from a biased perspective, okay? Of course, there's Bitcoin maximalists who will say it can never possibly happen. There's Ethereum maximalists who say it's only a matter of time before it does happen. But on this channel, I, I would like to say I would like to think that we are a data-centric channel, that we do not let our biases come into the mix, but we focus on the data and what does the data suggest is possible, okay? So hopefully I do this discussion justice in terms of identifying what are theoretical possibilities, what would it take for Ethereum to flip Bitcoin? Now, the best place to start would be to look at where we are today. And if you go over to CoinMarketCap, you can see that the, the market cap on ETH right now is a very modest 504 billion, whereas Bitcoin is already at over 1 trillion. It's at 1.081 trillion, okay? So you can see that currently Bitcoin's market cap is more than double that of Ethereum's. For Ethereum to flip Bitcoin today, at the current Bitcoin valuation, it would have to go up more than 2x, meaning we would probably need to see a, a valuation of Ethereum close to $9,000. It's hard to see Ethereum go to 9K in the short term while Bitcoin stays completely constant, okay? So then where does the idea of the flipping come from? Where, where can we look in history and say, well, why is this a think, why do people think this is possible at all? Okay, so let's do that. If you go back and look at the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation, the highest it has ever gone was back over here in June of 2017. If we zoom in to get the day that it hit its peak, it actually happened to be on June 13th of 2017. You might have thought that it would have been in early January of 2018, but in fact, it was not. The highest came earlier in the year, before the bull market ended, in fact, okay? And it came in at around 0.15. Now, how close did Ethereum come to flipping Bitcoin back in June of 2017? Well, we can go look at a historical snapshot and see that, look, once upon a time, Ethereum's market cap was 36 billion. Bitcoin's was 44 billion. That came pretty close, right? That was a pretty close, uh, you know, I mean, it, it almost occurred and you can see that viewer discretion is advised, but the prices at the time, Ethereum was at $400 and Bitcoin was only at $2,700. So you can see that it did come close before Bitcoin went on a, a fairly, fairly impressive rally, okay? So then what is the likelihood that Ethereum could flip Bitcoin? Should we say that, is it, is it a possibility? If you look at this chart, or if you look at this table, you have to admit, in my opinion, and I, I do have positions in both, and I have a larger position in Bitcoin than I do Ethereum for full disclosure, but I do expect Ethereum to outperform Bitcoin during the bull run. So then why, why say it can't happen when we can see that Ethereum came to within $8 billion of doing it in the past when Bitcoin was only 44 billion? So I think it would be reasonable to think that it is a possibility. Right? It is, there is a possibility that it could flip Bitcoin. Now, there's also a difference between flipping Bitcoin in a sustainable manner and doing so sort of as like a one-off thing before, before going into a bear market, right? So we have to understand that if Ethereum flips Bitcoin and then we eventually go into a bear market, then there's a good chance that Bitcoin could, could reclaim the number, one, the number one spot. But the idea is, look, today the Ethereum market cap is about half of that of Bitcoin. But we also do know that Ethereum can go on fairly impressive rallies against Bitcoin. And if you go look at the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation, we've legitimately had these lines drawn on this chart since 2019, right? Since 2019, we've had these blue lines and these yellow lines drawn on the chart. And the whole idea 
is understanding the timing of the momentum shift in the cryptocurrency asset class. I even made a video on this on YouTube back in 2019, and we said this is the momentum shift of the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation. It's going to start moving higher now. And so you cannot dispute the fact that over the last couple of years, the Ethereum valuation against Bitcoin has been trending higher. That is a fact. And you can take that to the bank, right? I think they'll cash that in if you just say, look, it's a fact that it's been trending higher. They'll look at the chart and say, you're right. The Ethereum Bitcoin valuation has been trending higher over the last couple of years. And then it goes back to market cycle theory. Well, we know that Ethereum's likely only going to outperform Bitcoin as long as the market cycle continues. The minute we get a bear market, and if a bear market were to last for a year or so, there's, there's a certainly a decent probability that the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation could then bleed again. Okay, so we know that. So then where does that bring us today? Well, we also can go look at Bitcoin market cycle theory, and the data, as I've said before, suggests that we should see a lengthened cycle. Meaning that if you don't believe in a lengthened cycle, then you probably think the market cycle is already over because technically, unofficially, the, the cycle has lengthened by a few days, but until we put it into all-time high, it is not officially lengthened. So if you don't agree with lengthening cycle theory, then I imagine you don't think Ethereum could flip Bitcoin this market cycle. But if you do agree with lengthening cycle theory, then there, there's at least a chance that it happens. If you think about it, the, the time that we added from, say, cycle one to cycle two peak, like the, the distance in, in extra time, was approximately a year and a half. The extra time we had from cycle three to cycle two was almost a year. So if this next cycle extends out by, you know, a few hundred days, you know, we could, I, I feel like it's certainly possible we could see this cycle extend out well into 2022 and maybe far into 2022. I mean, there's some charts we've looked at that suggest even 2023 is possible, as crazy as that sounds. I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves on that. Let's take it one step at a time. But the point is to say that if the market cycle continues on, and it is a lengthened cycle, which is what our thesis is, is that the cycle should lengthen from the market cycle bottom to the market cycle peak. We know that Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin for the duration of the market cycle. Therefore, it stands to reason that the only thing keeping Ethereum from Bit the only thing we that keeping Ethereum from flipping Bitcoin is perhaps the length of the cycle. Can it go on long enough to support an Ethereum valuation that ultimately overtakes Bitcoin? Because you can see that we are generally trading higher. Now, it is easy to pull the wool over one's eyes on this chart because we also do know, to be fair to Bitcoin, that if Bitcoin were to go on a rally to $150,000 in a few weeks or something, or a few months, like if it did it over the course of a couple months, or let's say, you know, in March or April, or, or maybe before, Bitcoin rallies to 100K or above, it's probably going to leave Ethereum behind temporarily, but then we know Ethereum can catch back up relatively quickly. So the idea is even if we do come back down, which there is no guarantee, and to be completely honest, I am thoroughly impressed with Ethereum's performance against Bitcoin so far this fourth quarter. Okay, very impressed. These white lines mark out 2022. Okay, we know we need to get it to least to, to this valuation. Okay, but then it begs the question, why do we look at an Ethereum Bitcoin chart? The market cap depends on the supply. Why not look at the Ethereum Bitcoin market cap chart? This shows the Ethereum market capitalization divided by the Bitcoin market capitalization. In order for Ethereum to flip Bitcoin, we need to get above one, right? Because if we're above one, it means that the Ethereum market cap is higher than Bitcoin's. Therefore, we can take a measured move from here and simply show that the Ethereum valuation against Bitcoin would need to go up a very modest 114.69% in order to flip Bitcoin today. Okay, so if that were to happen, we would see Bitcoin would be flipped by Ethereum. So then the question is, well, can the cycle last long enough for that to happen? And I think to look at that, we also do understand that historically Ethereum pumps against Bitcoin in January, but also historically it bleeds against Bitcoin in Q4. It's not really bleeding against Bitcoin this Q4, at least not so far. So it does call into question, is it going to pump in January? I would still like to think it will pump in January, but we'll take that one step at a time. If the market cycle continues on, and we just sort of dubiously speculate that the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation is going to continue higher, something like this, then it could still take until the middle of 2022 to get to a valuation of, of say, 0.1 if it just sort of slowly goes up, 
right? We can always get a spike up and, and make it there sooner. But even if it were to do that, maybe we could overshoot it and then come back down and then find support at that level. So we might speculate that point one is in the cards. I would say I would be incredibly surprised if Ether's, Bitcoin, Ether's valuation against Bitcoin did not make it to at least point one. It seems like that should definitely be in the cards, this market cycle. It's already at 0.0744. It's been incredibly strong in Q4. Uh, I, I do anticipate we will ultimately make it to point one, and it's probably not going to take us that much longer to get there. Okay, could happen early 2022. I would say by the middle of 2022, there's certainly a decent chance that we're chilling around point one. Okay maybe even higher. But then that still doesn't actually get us to, to flipping Bitcoin, right? It still wouldn't get Ethereum to, to flipping Bitcoin. We know we need to go well, well up into this region up here. And so to get to those levels though, it would stand a reason that we probably need the cycle to extend on beyond summer of 2022, right? We would need to see it maybe, you know, maybe it does something like this. It comes back down, consolidates. Perhaps Bitcoin goes on a crazy rally in, you know, sometime either, I don't know, maybe it goes on a crazy, crazy rally in Q1 of 2022. Maybe it goes on a real rally later. As some phases, we have to expect the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation to come back down. But if it continues on, if the cycle continues on, then it certainly is a possibility, in my opinion, and based on the data, to suggest that Ethereum would be able to theoretically flip Bitcoin if the market cycle were to last long enough. Now, it's interesting to think about that happening because it certainly would cause some potential issues in cryptocurrency. A lot of institutions and whatnot, I imagine, buy Bitcoin because it's number one and it's been number one. And the idea is that it's always going to be number one. What if it isn't number one? Does that throw a wrench into the idea that Bitcoin is the king? Does that throw an idea into the wrench that Bitcoin is the ultimate store of value? I don't know. I don't know how it would be perceived, to be completely honest. Again, I have Bitcoin and Ethereum. I consider them both to be the blue chips. I want to see them both do well. So I don't really have... I don't really have a dog in this fight in terms of like, do I think one's going to, you know, outperform the other or do I necessarily want one to, to do better? Um, but, you know, I, I would say that it is certainly a possibility that Ethereum does flip Bitcoin if the market cycle lasts long enough. OK, so if we only go out to the summer of 2022, I would say it's relatively unlikely because at that point we're probably going to bleed for a while. But if the cycle continues on into late 2022 and even early 2023, then I would argue there is a distinct possibility that Ethereum could flip Bitcoin. We've seen it almost happen in the past and it certainly could come close again. That would though beg the question, can it sustain it? I would, I would speculate that if during the bear market, Bitcoin would likely outperform Ethereum. And that's based on the fact that every time Bitcoin has been below its 20 week moving average as measured from going below it to then getting back above it later, it has always outperformed Ethereum, I believe, um, every single time. Okay, so I would argue that yes, Ethereum could theoretically flip Bitcoin this market cycle if the cycle lasts long enough. But if it does, there's still a good chance that Bitcoin will battle back and, and then re over, you know, overtake that, that number one spot again. And then it could be a battle, right? It could be simply a battle between the two main juggernauts of the space to see who gets that number one spot. But I would say there is a possibility that it could happen. If you say that it can't happen just because it, it doesn't make fundamental sense, again, I would draw your attention to exhibit A, June 13th of 2017, and just say, look, if, if Ethereum can come, come that close to flipping Bitcoin back then, it can certainly do it today. The only reason that's stopping it, in my opinion, is will the cycle last long enough to justify Ethereum flipping Bitcoin? If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Black Friday sale on the premium list. You can find that in the description below. That'll wrap it up for the video. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bell icon, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time.